What the deuce? He just hung up on me. I guess I gotta try again. Bro, what's up, man? Yo, bro, what's up? You good? Yeah, man, I'm just- I'm trying to get, like, I'm hard stuck 200 subscribers, bro. I need to get more. I need to get 1k. Oh, yeah, on YouTube? Yeah, on YouTube, man. Yeah, man, I've been watching your YouTube. I, uh, man, I want to unsubscribe. It's your UI, man. I can't, I can't watch it. It looks like you're playing in, like, a TBC private server or something. It's just like, do you know you can, like, configure add-ons and make them look better? Like, people are coming on and looking at your videos and thinking, this is old content. This, this guy's add-ons are from 10 years ago. I think you really need to improve your UI, man. So, so what what should I do? You mean like like can you sort me out, bro? I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. Uh, I'll give it a try. I mean, I guess I have nothing to lose, really. I'm telling you, man, you do this, Insta one thousand subscribers, Insta. You want to get to the stage where people are going to ask you for a UI video? I'm telling you, man. A few moments later. What's up gamers, it is Treesap Jake here with yet another video. Now this is a video you guys have requested a lot, so I'm now here with my buddy Trap. Say hello Trap. Hello Trap. <laughs> so we're going to be running through uh, the UI that he's designed for me. It's super minimalist, it's really really awesome and we're going to give it to you guys as well. Um, so Trap is going to run through all the add-ons. You should be able to see them on your screen now, this is the list. Make sure that you download all of these because we're going to be running through them and telling you how to set that all up. So guys, we're just going to run through things in alphabetical order. So the first add-on we're going to do is E-Align, and Trep is just going to give us a talk through on how to set that all up. Okay guys, so to start this add-on, you just type slash align. Uh, and basically what this add-on is used for is to put a grid overlay on your screen. Um, and we use this to position the rest of our add-ons. Uh, it's super minimal, super lightweight. You're, you're never going to obviously use it in-game. Um, and that's it really. We just use it for positioning but it is essential. Next add-on is basic minimap. Okay guys, so to use this add-on, you're gonna do slash BM, uh, and inside the add-on, you're gonna get this screen, and you're gonna change your border size to 10, and you're gonna make sure that your border color is set to black. Uh, just a little bit down from that, you have the shape of the add-on, or the map, sorry, and you're gonna change that to round. Uh, and then if you'd like, you can lock your map too, so that you don't accidentally drag it or pull it around anywhere. Uh, if you want to change the, the size of the map, you can go to minimap scale and move it up and down to fit on your particular UI. The next add-on is Bagnon. Okay guys, so this is just, uh, a very old, um, an oldie but a goodie sort of add-on. It's uh, one massive bag. Uh, to achieve a, a little bit more of the aesthetic that we have with the rest of the UI with black um, borders and, and black backgrounds and things, you can click on the cogwheel in the top right hand corner um, and basically change your background color and your border color to black to achieve the same aesthetic as the rest of the add-ons. All right, the next add-on is bug sack. Okay guys, so this is a very basic add-on. Um, what it does is if you're really into UIs and you want to uh, create your own code or layer code or things like that and things are bugging out you can use bug sack to pop out your code and show you what's going wrong so you can fix it otherwise you can use it to actually grab bugs in your game and hide them if you don't want to look at them so maybe a, a, an add-on favorite of yours is outdated and it's and it's slightly buggy um, but it still functions fine and um, this will just stop it popping up on your screen all the time and then you can click the mute button in the bottom left to make sure you don't hear little sounds Next add-on is called Details. Okay guys, so probably everybody knows what Details is. Um, it's basically gonna track anything in the game from damage to healing to interrupts, dispels, CC. Uh, for someone like Jake who plays a lot of PvP, he obviously just needs to see his healing and his damage um, and the enemy's healing and damage. The best way to achieve a nice aesthetic with these is to probably keep them down in the corner um, and keep the, uh, the backgrounds and the borders and things like that black or um, a light gray just so that it doesn't interfere or draw too much attention to itself obviously everybody likes to configure details in their own way and look at different things so it, that could be a whole other add-on video and there's many of them out there what i like to do is just drag them down here at the bottom right um just to keep them sort of very easy how you do that is just unlock them at the bottom and then adjust the panel so pull them up like this
This next one is two add-ons. This is both Dominoes and Mask. Okay guys, with this add-on we're going to be using Dominoes as our bar add-on. This is going to house all our abilities, uh, macros, etc, etc. Um, to achieve a clean UI, the first principle is to basically have everything off your, your UI that you don't need to see. For instance, Jake has a bar on the, on the right hand side of the screen that is actually hidden. This will house a lot of his things that he doesn't really need to see that much or uh, like myself, I have my arena 123 macros on there because I don't need to see paralysis four times. I just uh, see it once. Uh, so yeah, dominoes is slash dom to get the configuration up. And inside here, you want to click on configure bars. So for Jake's UI, we only used three bars actively uh, and the rest are hidden. You can drag and drop these anywhere you like on your map. And to deactivate or activate a bar, you use your middle mouse wheel to click on it, like so. Even if you deactivate a bar, you can still use it. You can still use the abilities on it. So let's say Jake wanted to activate action bar five again, he would middle mouse wheel click on it. And then he can click exit and it'll be on the screen. And then he can click slash KB which will do his keybinds. Now, Jake just has to hover over a button and say he wanted to use his water walking and bind it to W and then press OK and then do slash DOM again, slash D-O-M, configure bars and middle mouse wheel back at number five, press exit. He can press the W and it would water walk it if he had if he wanted to, without it actually being on his bar. So this is useful for things like Hearthstones, Mounts, Arena 1, 2, 3 macros, etc, etc. And it, it really is the essential thing that declutters people's UI, is uh, getting rid of things like that that you don't need to see. Uh, to achieve the black aesthetic that we have with dominoes that matches with the minimap, the player frames, etc, etc, we use an add-on called Mask. Um, that is M-A-S-Q-U-E. So if Jake would like to put that up. So inside mask, you want to go to global and we have a skin called clean UI black. And that is the one that we use to get a black outline on all of our dominoes bars. Inside here, you can also see that there's many other skins for mask. So if you go onto curse or any other add-on website and type in mask, there'll always be lots of different variations of uh, the skins. So you could have white ones or some that have gloss on them or etc you know, etc cetera, et cetera. There's, there's so many variations after that you can also edit um, the borders and colors and things like that if you want to change them as well but that's how we achieve the black aesthetic with this ui this next add-on is called easy frames okay guys so this is going to replace the default player frames from blizzard um it does it for your player, your enemy player, and your focus player. So if Jake clicks slash EF, this will bring it up. So you can go into player, target, focus, pet, party, boss, and profiles. Each one of these are highly configurable. Um, at the moment, we are only using player, target, and focus. Uh, the rest of them don't really need to be changed. Uh, to achieve the black um, aesthetic that we have with everything else, we Put a black border around it now to do this you want to change your texture to minimalist like jake has there's many different textures some of them are trash to be honest but we're using minimalist anywhere we can whether it's in dps meter the helium meter any anywhere basically minimalist will always be there so try try to keep the same aesthetic by using the same tone or the same vector in every single add-on so yeah minimalist is what we use after that you want to go to the use light texture now, if this is clicked on um, and the brightness is up at 100 to the right hand side, it'll actually make it white. It'll actually make the outline white. But to achieve the black, what we need to do is we need to turn the light texture on and turn the light off so that it goes black. That's the only way you can achieve it this way. Um, if you want to configure it even more, uh, Jake has his, his uh, player and enemy frames down quite low. So he tailors the buff size and self buff size to how he wants it to look. Uh, you can, if you play with your character frames up in the top left corner, make these smaller or bigger, uh, depending on your playstyle. But Jake likes to keep everything centralized, so we made it like this for him. And Jake, if you want to just click OK, 
and then target myself and then set your focus target this will give everyone an idea of how it all lays out it also shows the character class frame uh, portrait sorry uh, instead of their character face which is kind of nice keeps everything minimal again as well to get your player frame to look exactly like Jax, what you want to do is you want to go into your player tab under easy frames and you want to change your player health text format to current and percent like so after that you want to go down to the font style and have it on outline and then you want to change the font family to 2002 bold after that you want to put your font size to 10. Now, sometimes there can be some overlay with um, the Blizzard UI and EC frames trying to display the same numbers together. So what you want to do is you want to click on OK, Jake. You want to go into your normal interface. And then in game, yep. And you want to go to display. And where it says status text here, uh, you want to make sure that's on both. Just so that EC frames and the default Blizzard UI doesn't interact with each other and, and duplicate things. To achieve this with every player frame, you're going to have to do it individually. So Jake would have to do the same process for his target and for his focus. Like so. This next add-on is called Mini Map Button Bag. Okay guys, so basically in the top right hand corner, um, if you have a lot of add-ons installed, your, your mini-map can get quite cluttered because they all cling to it. So what we do here to avoid that is we use a little add-on called mini-map button bag. And what it does is you click on it and it will open up all the little things, the little add-ons um, or uh, covenants, etc. that would otherwise be sprung around your map, making it look untidy. It's really, really neat, lightweight add-on that again helps us achieve that minimalistic look it sets itself up you do basically install it go in and any button that would be around your mini map goes inside it all right guys so this next add-on is called neat plates this is the one that i use for enemy name frames um, if in order to kind of get into this you just go to your interface you go to add-ons and you get this option up the option that i use that makes it sort of i just a, a nice little bar is just the quarter, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, frame here. It's really, really nice. The other ones are kind of cool. You've got the classic Blizzard one, the classic one. I used Graphite for a very, very long time, but I think personally the, the quarter one is really, really nice to look at. It's just very simple. And when I put buffs on, so if you put Flame Truck on, it just sits up there. Really, really easy. Um, and it just sort of sits there and everything. And I can do whatever I need to if I want to lasso him. You know, I've got all the bits up there. That's big debuffs on the right hand side, but it just looks really, really minimalistic and it's just very easy to set up. So just download it, select the Quattro option and you're there. <laughs> Next add-on is called Thanks Chat. Okay guys, so Thanks Chat is basically a very lightweight modular uh, skin for the actual default Blizzard chat, in my opinion. Uh, everything's still there, same functionality, except when you're not using the chat, it fades out quicker so that you don't just have loads of text down at the bottom of your screen. Um, it also takes the tabs like general and, and things like that and just removes them so you don't have to see them unless you're hovered over them. Um, but when someone uh, actually tries to chat to you or if Jake wants to click on a, um, a channel, subscribe to Street Slap Jake. Um, Yes, it'll just come up and then it'll fade away after a little while, but everything's basically there just like your default uh, Blizzard one. Um, it's just a lot more lightweight and yeah, it just achieves that aesthetic of, of keeping things minimal. It works the exact same way as the default Blizzard chat frame. You can hover over general, right click on it, unlock it and move it around. Next add-on is called Quartz. Okay guys, so to achieve a sort of minimalistic looking cast bar, we use Quartz. Um, if Jake just wants to cast some heals on himself, instead of thunderstorming me back into the water. Okay, that's great. So if you just want to spam that for a second, Jake, just so people can see. Uh, what we do here is we put the name of the spell in the middle and we remove everything else that's not needed. 
like timers or the icon or the target. Um, some other add-ons put these things on, and I think I feel like it just clunks everything up because it's not really giving you any relevant information. You should know who you're casting at, and you know the visual indicator of how long the spell takes is just as handy as watching a timer. So to open up this add-on, we use slash quartz, and inside this, you want to turn off everything. If Jake clicks on player or target or pet or latency or any of these things, they'll all be turned on. Uh, this can be very clunky and really not needed. So to achieve the minimal aesthetic again, what we do is we turn them all off apart from player. And inside player, we put to, you try to line your cast bar up with your dominoes bars. So Jake can play around with the width of his cast bar. Uh, if you just go into to quartz at the top, Jake, quartz three, yeah. And then click toggle bar lock, yeah. So, and then go back into player. Cool. So here we can manipulate the width and the scale and the height. So for instance, if Jake is on 425 now for his width, um, potentially maybe you guys don't have as many spells as Jake. Maybe you play a demon hunter um, and you only need eight spells. So your width might be half the size. Uh, your height obviously is in relevance to how many bars you're stacking on top of each other. It's always going to be nice to try to keep the height and width um, similar to uh, the, the other uh, dominoes bars. Um, if we scroll down, we actually hide the icon on the left-hand side in the middle of the screen because we don't want the icon at the start. There, there's no need really for it to be there. You, you, you kind of know what you're casting when you press it. Um, the spell font size is set to 14. And we put the spell name position right in the middle so that it's easy to see. And you want to anchor that to the center backdrop. Uh, then we also hide the time text because there's not really much there's not really much point in seeing it. Uh, the visual indicator is, is more than enough and it's less cluttered in your screen. And again, as we talked about earlier on, anytime we have an opportunity to set a texture on a bar or an add-on, we always set it to minimalist just to keep the theme throughout. You want to set your border also to blizzard achievement. And that will keep it nice and black. Now, if you wanted to use this add-on to look at enemy players or uh, focus targets or anything like that, you could. You could turn on target and you could enable it at the top and Jake could target himself and cast and the target bar comes up right in the middle of the screen. Obviously, we haven't configured it, so it just comes up right in the middle of the screen, but you would follow the same principle as before. You would allocate its size, its position, etc, etc. Myself in RPGs, I put the focus target right underneath my character so that I know when he's casting. But you could use this in, in, in various ways. Another thing you want to make sure that you do is inside your focus and target, there's a little button called disable blizzard cast bar. You want to make sure this is unclicked. Otherwise, if you're just using quartz for your own cast bar, you'll accidentally disable the cast bars for your enemies. So we're disabling quartz for our enemies, so we definitely don't want to disable the blizzard one as well, because then we won't be able to see what they're casting. So make sure this is unclicked. Final add-on is called Weak Aura. Okay, guys, so many of you have probably heard of Weak Aura. Uh, it's probably the most adaptive, I wouldn't even call it an add-on, it's almost like a piece of software at this point that can basically notify you about anything in the game, whether it's a buff, a debuff, um, a, a boss, mechanic, anything like that. Uh, some of the ones that people have been requesting from Jake is the one to measure the trap, the incoming traps from the hunters. So this one is called uh, Trap IDK. Um, I actually got this from a friend called uh, Tren Acetate. He's a rank one demon hunter on Twitch. You guys should check him out. He's a nice guy. Uh, we've helped him with his UI and stuff too, and, and he helped us out with this week aura. But when a hunter casts a trap, um, this will pop up on your screen. Uh, Jake's going to put a link to the paste bin so that you guys can put it there. You can drag it around your screen and, and make it as big or small as you like, but it is very handy in arenas and RPGs or any sort of PvP scenario where you're fighting against a hunter. The next one that Jake uses is called Stats at the top. Um, what this does is it tracks all Jake's stats on top of his UI so that he can look at it easily. Um, and then also his viewers and things like that can uh, not ask a thousand questions about what the stat priority is. 
kill the pot. Now, this is another one that I got from a friend in RPG, um, because obviously Demon Hunter tanks are now uh, fly carrying with the pod, and if you don't kill them, they'll get back out. Not sure if this has been changed recently, but it's essential even for arena, world PvP, etc, etc. As soon as a pod pops up in the arena, this will come up, so everybody in your team should have this on, so you guys can quickly get to the pod and kill it. The other one that you guys have seen me use is my Master of Elements Weak Aura. This is one that I think was designed by Jamie. It's really, really useful for just tracking when you can do bigger damage on Lightning Bolt, on Earth Shock, any of your abilities that aren't Lava Burst. Just remember, guys, I'm going to put a little paste bin down below in the description so you can get all of these weak auras for yourself. For those of you wanting to know about my Frost Death Knight or my Unholy Death Knight rune slash runic power tracker for weak aura that Trep has done for me, I'm going to put that down in the description as well so you can just copy and paste that. Obviously, there's a screenshot to show you what that looks like now, um, but you can grab that from the paste bin as well. Okay guys, that is everything. That is my entire setup. You now know exactly what to do to get your UI looking as clean as mine, thanks to Trep. So really, I really appreciate you doing that for me, buddy. It's, I really appreciate it. It's, it's looking so sick and obviously everything is looking really nice. It's so easy to play. If you have any questions, any concerns, any queries, please do message me. You can message me on Discord, Twitter, anything. Ask me down in the comments. Also, make sure you go give Trep a follow on his Twitch. Um, go watch him anytime he's online, ask him questions there. And that should be everything. Um, any any other words to say from you now, Trap? Before we end, no, thanks for, thanks for having me on, guys. Uh, it's been fun, and I hope you find some use in the UI. Perfect. Alrighty, guys, and I guess we'll see you in the next video. Oh, what? Got him. <laughs>